Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video here on Variety and Errors. We're getting up there in subscribers. I really appreciate all the support over the last few years of making videos. This lonely little coin channel has excited enough of you to stick around, so I'm really stoked about that. I'll be doing a giveaway really soon, uh, so I'm really excited on that, so just stay tuned for those things. Uh, but anyway, let's get right to it with the bill search of pocket money over the last couple of days. See if we find anything worth more than face value. I have a mix of Federal Reserve notes here, starting with this guy, Series 2017A. So it's a large run uh, of these banknotes. Kind of cool serial number with the double ones in there, but nothing fancy serial number wise. Let's look at the back of the note. Actually a pretty decent print for a circulated one, but nothing jumping out at me. Kind of folded up and beat up $1 note, so that's something to keep in mind with anything that is or could be collectible. Uh, as conditions like nine-tenths of the law, it really can detract from value. In this case, this one's looking like a dollar. You guys asked me about a couple bills um, that I had in bill searches over the last little bit. Um, over ink 2, probably 5 to 10 bucks. Um, and then you know, broken ladders and stuff like that are really only worth what collectors will pay. I mean, it, depending on the face value and condition of the bill, it can be worth, you know, three to five times the actual cost of the note uh, for like a straight ladder note. Nothing there on the back of that guy. Yeah, if we would have had a five instead of an extra three in there, we would have had zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is kind of funny because I was just mentioning ladder notes. That would have been a broken ladder. Uh, really, you're looking for a ladder note, so in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or, I'm sorry, 0 through 7 in this case. Uh, but whatever your numbers may be in order would be what you're looking for to command some value over, in this case, the $5 face value of this note uh, for a ladder note. Not a ladder in this case, but close. And nothing jumping out on the back except for kind of a nice depiction of uh, the Lincoln Memorial there. Really cool site. Got to see that. We're actually going to be back in D.C. now that they've opened up some of the tours. I was really bummed out. If you watch my channel, I mentioned it in videos like a while back. But during COVID, they had shut everything down and we didn't get to take the full tours. They were like, hey, you can come in and buy stuff from the gift shop, but you can't look at the place. So <laughs> we just decided we'd come back at a different time and that time has come. So I'll take some videos of those locations. Uh, $10 note. Series 2013, so not too old. And nothing much jumping out on the back there. U.S. Treasury Building, that'll be another site we're going to visit. And cool, little date note. Actually takes place within U.S. history. The last one we found was like in the 1500s, so I don't really care about those too much uh, in regards to U.S. currency uh, because the U.S. wasn't a thing then. Uh, so in this case, it's June 10th, 1812. There's a few things that jump to mind for me in like historically speaking, uh, but I'll look up some cool kind of things that have happened on this date and I'll put them in the description box below. Uh, unless something massively historical happened on this specific date, it wouldn't command any value over face value, but is nonetheless collectible. Um, but birthday notes are something you should real. I mean, somebody was born this day, but I... I doubt, I can't guarantee that they're probably not alive still, uh, but people really like birthday notes. So if you had like June 10th, 1999, and you knew somebody with that birthday, uh, then this note would really uh, probably, probably be something up their alley. Nothing uh, crazy on that note, but I'll set it aside for the date note part of it. Nothing jumping out on the back, but still kind of cool. A little bit of repetition of like one, two, three, four kind of dealio, but... Nothing fancy serial number here on this Series 2013 $5 note. Post the early 2000s redesign, but other than that, this is pretty much what you're going to see going forward uh, is these bills with the enhanced anti-counterfeiting measures that were implemented at that time of the redesign. Nothing on the back there. A little bit of funkiness going on with the serial number right there. It's a, printed a little bit kind of crooked and stuff. That's basically uh, when things are printed where they're not uh, 
as linear as they're supposed to be. Um, it's essentially just a miss or ungreased die kind of thing. It's a little rotating dial that prints the numbers for the serial numbers, and it just didn't get greased properly by pesky humans on the factory line. Uh, so it, g it gets jammed up and kind of prints the serial number funky. Nothing there. Yeah, I'm getting kind of close a lot with uh, the serial numbers for broken ladders, like I mentioned earlier, but nothing really. 2017 series. And kind of too beat up on the back to really see if there's anything going on. It's a little large margin on the bottom. Large margin sent you. But um, it's not going to be an error unless this bill's sitting like off from where it's supposed to be and there's literally no... I mean, I get it's a greenish hue, but like white space showing... Uh, where the border should be. And nothing crazy going on here. 2017A, so that's a, once again a really large run of notes. A lot of them were produced in that series. Little star note action. It is a date note, but like I mentioned earlier, uh, the year 112 is not really uh, anything relevant to U.S. history. But I love me some replacement notes. This one's really beat up and folded really oddly. Somebody didn't know how to fold. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it because I like star notes. I wish it was in better condition. Let's take a look at the back. Nothing jumping out, but I'll set it aside. And nothing crazy in the serial number on this one. 2017 as well for the series date. I like to check around the lettering and all the little kind of fine details of the seal depicted on the back of $1 notes. You know, they haven't been changed since the mid-50s when they added In God We Trust on the banknote. Aside from that, there's no uh, anti-counterfeiting measures or graphic enhancements they've done to $1 bills since. Uh, but, you know, the other notes, aside from twos, have been kind of renovated, so to speak. Lots of fives in this one. They were clumped together. I might be a little more excited about it, but uh, otherwise, five bucks. And once again, kind of cool depiction of the Lincoln Memorial there on the back. Last but not least, somebody started a paper plane, I guess, or something with this guy. Nothing jumping out in the serial number. Another 2017A. Like I said, really large run. Probably the most common you're going to see is 2017 and 2017A series banknotes in your uh, your own personal searches. Nothing jumping out of the back, so what are we holding on to in this bill search? Nothing too nuts. A little beat up star note, 0616-0112. And I think really the cooler find of it, although you're probably asking, well, what's it worth? Eh, if the date's kind of crazy cool, a few bucks over face value. But to me, it is more collectible and uh, something that I like to collect, along with the star notes, they're not really necessarily worth more than face value unless they're accompanied by some other rarity like a fancy serial number or misprint or something. Uh, you know, but they're cool to me. So I would say it commands a couple bucks of, above the $1 face value to the right person. But I'll look up the date. I'll see if anything snazzy happened on that date. Put it in the description box below. But the more important thing I want to hear about is your coin and bill searches in the comments below. It's your place to share your finds right along with mine. And we all can meet there and talk about it. Try to learn from each other if we don't know what we're looking at. Let me know what you think of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for sharing all the love. And you guys have an awesome day. See you later.